Hello and welcome to Train Sim for Attic. In today's episode I'm going to be adding even more lights. If you remember last week I was adding lights into these buildings. Today I'll be working on this little passageway here. I'm going to be using this as another indicator section to show if I'm having power to the layout. But there's a slight little problem with this bit. As you can see these LEDs are a bit too big to go through here. So I'm going to have to use something different. So if you just stay tuned, I'll show you what I have to use this time. And I'll show you what I'm doing. So this is what I'm going to be using. You can see it has a resistor on it and it's a very small little board. I'm using purple board here, that's a board for pre-drilled holes. And if you can see, just down here, I have a little mark on it. I'll just zoom in to show you what it is. So let me just go and zoom in a bit closer and then I'll be able to show you what we've got here. As you can see, just at the end here, we have a very tiny little LED. As you can see, it's really, really small. You have a resistor feeding it and then this is for LED. Um, it's really bright. I'll just connect up the battery to show you it's working. Okay, I'll just connect the battery to show you what it actually looked like. As previously said, brown is positive, purple is negative. As you can see, it's actually quite bright light. Again, the resistor is feeding it. I'm a bit sorry about flashing, I'm just trying to make a quick contact to show you what's happening, but it's a really bright LED. I'm going to be using double sided type. As you can see I've just pre-cut it to size that's a rough sizing and stuck it on the back. I just now need to trim it down and remove the excess then I'll show you fitting it to the building. The rest net of the wire but I'll just clear them out of the way and I'll show you where I'm working. It's just here this little passageway. So I'm going to remove the double sided tape backing which is just blue stuff. It's always tricky on camera so I'll try to get this done quickly and show you what's happening. So let me just get that done. Now the plastic is off the back. First I'm going to place it in just like so but just to hold it in place for a few seconds I'm going to grab a clamp just to hold it in place. So I'm just going to clamp it on just like this. I don't need to leave it for that long but here it is. Let me just show you what it looked like. This is the buildings from the front and as you can see you can't really see any lights in there. So let me just power it up and show you what it looked like. So I'll be able to see this from all over the layout to let me know that I'm getting power down here. It's not overpowering but it's just enough to actually show me that it's there and it makes the passageway to look even better. So I'll just quickly pause the camera and then show you the winding up of this video. Okay, so here we are at the end of the video and as you can see, the little passageway looked really good. This is how it will always work whenever my layout's lit up. Um, I hope you like this video. Make sure to like, subscribe and comment. And in a second I have the end cards which will show you uh, last week's video of the LED strips and also show you the link to all the videos I've done so far. So thank you for your time, make sure to like, subscribe and comment. Richard.